Global warming is an accepted fact of life, but could it really have disastrous effects on our climate? To answer this question, we need to look at the Earth's oceans and polar ice caps. The European Space Agency, ESA, is doing exactly this with its newest satellite, Cryosat. It can accurately measure global ice masses and assess whether they really are thinning over time. Cryosat is very important because being able to measure the ice thickness changes so accurately and over the entire North and South Pole, then we can predict what will happen to the oceans in the future, whether they will rise significantly or whether they will heat up significantly. And this has an impact on climate, on flooding, and all of these aspects which are very important for the future of our world. Developed and built over six years, Cryosat is the first of ESA's Earth Explorer missions, a series of projects that aim to give quick answers to burning scientific environmental questions. The present situation is, is delicately poised. In Greenland, there's plenty of evidence that the melting is accelerating. And once Greenland starts to melt, it will get lower. Because it gets lower, it will get warmer, there will be more melt. And once Greenland goes, it won't come back because it will be too warm at sea level to do it. So Green, Greenland, I think we're just at the point of no return unless we stop the warming. Scientists are concerned with disappearing ice masses because they play a crucial role in regulating ocean currents. Melting of the polar ice caps would alter these currents and affect the global climate. Using radar technology tried and tested on previous ESA satellites, such as ERS and Envisat, Cryosat will provide scientists with reliable 3D models of the polar ice sheets, marine glaciers and floating sea ice. This will show them if there is any change in thickness over time. This instrument, unlike any other previous ones, has been specifically designed to deal with the marine ice in the Arctic Ocean. In particular, it has a much higher resolution than the previous generations of instruments. And this should allow us to distinguish individual pieces of ice in the ocean and so measure its change in thickness much more accurately than before. Cryosat will be launched on the 8th of October from the Plesetsk Cosmodrome in Russia. It'll spend the next three years in orbit around the Earth, sending regular streams of data back to ESA's Karuna ground station in Sweden. If the Earth's ice cover is melting, this data will allow scientists to conclusively prove it, providing another case for reducing greenhouse gas emissions before it's too late.